Hey guys, welcome to The Sandman, a horror adventure game by Yuri. Let's begin. Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster, moaning in the closet. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, you're still not sleepy, are you? Then, I'll tell you a scary story. The terrifying story of the Sandman. Morning already. Well, rise and shine. And to whoever that was. Thanks, I'm, I'm scarred for life now. Now, let's explore my room first before we get out of here. Desk clock. Photos, okay. Let's see, the textbooks and novels. A drawing with a picture of mom. Let's see, clothes and stuff, okay. Wait, are these are my clothes, right? Can I put this on? Yeah, I can. I look great. Hey there. Your favorite teddy bear. Just washed, just nice and fluffy. Aww. Well, I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope, just a lamp. Well, let's move on. Alright, let's see. There's a note on the table here. A note. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I left Molly to take care of herself for now. Lock the doors and don't leave the stuff on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called me for me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Love, Papa. Um, I don't know what I did. I hope it's not anything bad. Oh well, now where's the stuff? I wanna leave it on. A stuff. Let's, uh, let's use it. No? Okay. Let's see, a pot with a burnt bottom on the stuff. Oh. There's still bread in the toaster. Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. Let's see, not much food inside. Cupboard, um... A TV! It's been used for a long time. Well, it's not one of those flat screens, so yeah. A phone... A rather old picture taken on a vacation. Huh. Wait, is this my dad's room? Dad, do you have anything cool inside of here? Anything? Anything you don't want me to see? No? Okay. Wait, what? Y shirts and pants. What are Y shirts? I wear t shirts, but Y shirts? Huh. Interesting. Well, nothing in there. Uh, this is the bathroom. Okay. Wait. You. Never mind. How about you? No, nothing. Wait, what? Dad's leather boots are here. Oh, okay. Well, let's go to school. <laughs> hey, Sophie. You got a painter at your house? Because, man, that hair. How do you get that red without a paint spill? Now hold on, Regan. Maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor. And Mystic the Ketchup for shampoo! Yeah, that's gotta be it. <laughs> Miss Grundler, are you here? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Okay, ma'am. Ah! Yeah. What are you doing, Klutz? Hurry up! We're so slow, seriously. <laughs> Sophie. Um, about Regan. Try not to let it get to you. They're not worth responding to anyway. 
It's fine. I wonder why Regan teases you so much. Must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for stress. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Well, we're friends. I, I don't really have any friends, but you. Well, I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. Come in. Welcome, Miss Grundler. Please, take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Miss Grundler, you showed great improvement on our last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm, model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh, yeah, so I did. Sorry, I'm, I'm spacing out, I forgot. It's no good, I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off. But I just find myself up until morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night. Maybe about 10 days. Sorry, I, I, I can't really remember that either. Oh my! Have you gone to the hospital? No. My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him, and it would cost money. I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself. But it seems that not at its convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please, don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you could try it. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. Why is the light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter of soul, to those who long for death that does not come, who search for it more than for hidden treasure, who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach their grave? Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? For sighing has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water. What I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest, but only turmoil. Jah was a man honest and adoring justice, but as we all know, that does not ensure that disaster will not befall us, yes? Through calamity, he saw the truth. The truth that not everything can go swimmingly. Though you may not be too young to have such experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and endure hardship. Just as the Son of God had faith in man before suffering. That is what gives us greater merit. So ends my sermon. Now, let us pray. Oh my gosh! I should shower and get to bed. Yeah, let's do that. Hey Teddy. Now, let's get naked. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes. It works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. 
Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Yeah, let's go. Let's try to get some sleep. A prayer before bed. Mom always did that, didn't she? Now I lay me down to sleep. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, the Lord I pray my soul to take. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, there would be no trouble, that would there? That was really dark. I mean, if I die before I wake, what? Question mark. Something's weird. What happened to the clock? The wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird. I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? This clock stopped at 12 too. What's this about? Wait, did I stop time? Can I control time? Huh. Oh dear. I hope that's my dad. Um, he hello? That is not my dad. Where is it coming from? Dad? Oh my gosh, holy... Dad? Where are you? Wait, are you in the stuff? No. <laughs> that, that, that would be dumb. Hey! Um. I. It, it's the old guy from next door. What What happened here? He, he's sleeping. Why out of the hall? In the dead of night? Wait. Did it trip and hit his head? Oh, uh, oh no. I have to call an ambulance. Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I get it free to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? Uh, oh, I need to tell the old lady next door first. Excuse me, it's the grand old girl from next door. Your husband's fainted in the hall. Uh, excuse me, are you in there, miss? It's not locked. It's wide open. Oh my. Miss? Miss, get up please. What happened? She, She's asleep too. What's going on? Something's weird here for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? She's sleeping. Old lady, what happened? No idea, but... The guy out here? What the heck is that on his face? Old man? Are you okay? I think he's just sleeping, but... Who knows? Who knows? A pot? Um, I should try to wake them up with... I don't know... A bottle of water? A glass of water or something? No? Shouldn't go in here. I'm sort of breaking in as it is. Then what can I do? Well, I was led to this place for a reason, right? Take this pot here. Use a sink and pour some water on his face. I mean, her face. And then probably she'll wake up. No? Huh, let's go back. 
Can I go here? Oh, I can go here. What? Uh, another person's asleep on the ground. Why are they all sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? Is... Is there anyone else awake? I doubt it. This is probably just some trick because I'm not able to sleep, right? Right? No? Okay. Well, what should I do? Cafe. Um, it's locked up tight. Okay, I can't go in. <gasps> Wait, what's this? That's a map of a town. Oh dear. Okay, I got a town map. <laughs> that noise actually startled me. Wow. Now then, let's check the map actually. Let's see, where am I at? Where's my house? I think I'm at West Heights. Huh. Well, let's check it later, if I need it. Hmm. Let's see, hey there. A car from a company called Safety Guard. Where should I go first, actually? Oh, another guy. Resting peacefully. Let's see, Baker. I need to find a safe place. Yeah, this gets weirder and weirder. All the people I've seen are asleep on the street. What in the world is going on? Um. Uh, uh, um. Sophie.